Part 6. The Part of Thames. Now's the moment I present you with ten suggestions, which I hope will get you thinking about how you could apply the contents of this CD. You choose what will make a difference for you. First, developing yourself. One lesson I hope you'll take away from this CD is that NLP offers a means for learning, for growing, and for developing yourself, and you can choose to take it. You can use NLP to coach and help others, too, but it pays to be strong and healthy yourself so that you are an authentic role model. Second, managing your personal and professional relationships. One statement you'll hear a lot in NLP is this, if what you're doing isn't working, then do something different. Fortunately, NLP offers a couple of ways for you to get unstuck and open the door with more possibilities. The Meta Model provides a way for you to delve below the surface of vague everyday language with useful questions that gather specific information and challenge assumptions. A second one is the NLP Meta Mirror, where you stand in different perceptual positions. The Meta Mirror is a favorite technique for exploring challenging situations by looking at how you relate to other people. Third, Negotiating a win-win solution. NLP gives you principles and strategies you can use to everybody's advantage. Principles that apply if you're negotiating for a job, buying a car, hiring contract staff at work, or allocating chores with your flatmates. Fourth, meeting those sales targets. NLP principles apply to creating strong sales relationships. They teach you how to build rapport how to get clarity on what someone wants, understand their values and criteria, and how to be flexible along the way until you close a deal or decide to walk away because you know the fit isn't right. NLP deals with influence and how people make decisions. Successful sales match the customer needs at many levels. Fifth, creating powerful presentations. The ability to communicate well is fundamental to your success. In fact, you may find it's the single most important skill that affects your future. But so many people are terrified of presenting. NLP shows you how to make your purpose in presenting crystal clear, how to touch everyone in an audience through your use of language, and how to feel confident about standing up in front of any group. Sixth, Managing your time and precious resources. We all have the same amount of time. It's how we use it that makes a difference. How is it that some people spend their lives racing against the clock while others gently amble along? NLP distinguishes between those of us who operate in time, that's if you live in and for the moment, and those of us who operate through time. Time is a precious resource, and if you lose it or waste it, you can't go back to reclaim it. Seventh, being coached to success. NLP coaching can help you make that leap from the desire to make some change to really making it happen. When you work with a coach who embraces the principles of NLP with skill, they will believe in your unlimited potential and help you to achieve goals that seemed impossible. Coaching focuses your attention on getting the results you want, the outcomes, and stops you dithering along the way, dissipating energy on all the things that you don't want. Coaching closes that gap from where you are now to where you want to get to. Eighth, using NLP to support your health. NLP has much to offer if you want to stay healthy, because it recognizes the inextricable connection between mind and body. It views a person like a system which needs to stay balanced, for you to be healthy. When people get out of control in one aspect of their lives, the body will step in with a braking mechanism. Tension headaches, neck and back pains, as well as outbursts of anger and anxiety can all be warning flags from your body that you're not in control of your own life. NLP helps people stay centered and focused on who they are and what their core values are and to stay in tune with their health. Ninth, connecting to your audience. Advice for trainers and educators. NLP 
recognizes that individuals learn in different ways. Good teachers ensure that pupils learn, they truly connect and inspire. What NLP does is to move the emphasis from teaching to learning and gets people to begin to notice how they learn in the best way. NLP will show you how to discover people's preferences for taking in information. So, as a teacher, it will be important to recognize that some people respond to pictures, some to words, and others to touch or feelings. 10. Getting that job Shifting jobs can be like changing the wallpaper or buying yet another blue shirt. You can change jobs and realize that it was just the change that was attractive rather than the job itself. NLP thinking can help you get the right job rather than a different job. Career planning needs to be done proactively or you'll end up like Alice in Wonderland and not too bothered about where you get to just so long as it's somewhere. And making informed decisions ensures that you don't chuck out a perfectly good job to end up somewhere that you'll be very unhappy. And finally, here are ten films that include NLP processes. As Good As It Gets Jack Nicholson's portrayal of a curmudgeonly, obsessive-compulsive recluse is hilarious. The way his neighbor's dog trains him in rapport building will delight animal lovers. Bend It Like Beckham, a delightful movie about girl power, friendship, and fulfilling dreams and aspirations in spite of obstacles. The Color Purple. The message of this movie must be, to thine own self be true, or what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. A moving portrayal of the strength of the human spirit. Keep the tissues to hand. Field of Dreams. This is a classic about the fulfillment that comes from manifesting one's dreams. Frida. A powerful film about a woman born ahead of her time who nonetheless lives life on her terms. Gattaca, an inspiring sci-fi movie where determination overcomes genetic flaws and proves that having it handed on a silver platter does not ensure success. This film illustrates how focusing on your goal can help you overcome even the most insurmountable obstacle. The Matrix, a thrilling sci-fi exploration of reality and what you can come to see and achieve when you begin to believe in yourself. The Shawshank Redemption. This is an uplifting movie about friendship and survival in a brutal environment. Stand and Deliver. Nothing to do with Adam and the Ants, but instead a terrific movie based on a true story of a high school teacher motivating his class of East Los Angeles barrio kids to believe in themselves and overcome stereotyping. The Three Faces of Eve. A very interesting film which brought mental illness into the public awareness by exploring the complexity of the human mind. Now that I've given you a taster of the NLPisms that you can look for in a film, why don't you try your hand at sharpening your NLP skills by spotting some of the items from the list below. Which NLP presuppositions are demonstrated in this movie? What do you notice about rapport in this movie? What maps of the world are depicted? How do they match up to your reality? Listening to the words people say, what do you notice about their use of language and the meta-programs they run? What about the soundtrack? What message is there in this movie about dreams, goals, and outcomes? Are the characters victims of circumstance, and if they are, what is the process by which they take control of their lives? What are the beliefs and values demonstrated in the movie? How do the characters pace and lead each other? Which characters, if any, display flexibility in their behavior? And finally, looking at the movie, what is the visual impact? How do you experience the kinesthetic dimensions of feeling and touch, plus a sense of taste or smell? In this audio, I've given you the essence of what is contained much more fully in the book Neurolinguistic Programming for Dummies. If what you've heard has been of value, then I recommend you get hold of the book and use it.